I'm going to show you how to customize the return value of an object when you either inspect it or you console.log the object. All right. And um, by the end of this video, I'm going to like show you a real world use case to this custom inspect of an object, if you will. So stick around. So let's jump over to my code editor so i just have an inspector.js file so let's take a scenario where you have an object let's say cons my object then we call it, give it a name of course it's kelvin age uh let's say it's, you know ain't that old so <laughs> i said let's say then let's console.log this uh my object right nothing serious right so it's just no more than you call no the inspector js we have this this is expected this is what you expect okay so in node.js we have like um, a util module which gives you utilities for like debugging and one of the utility it gives is called the inspect method right and um, what does that is it returns the string representation of an object so if we do for example we do type of on this object right and we run node inspect we get um objects as expected and by the way i am on node version 20 so just in case um so yeah so that said let's see what uh, happens when we use the inspect method it's going to do cons inspect and i'm going to do require and um, we could use this new node um, spacing name spacing right you could also do use it without it like this but i'm just trying to adapt the, the new one cool all right so this new node spacing so once we do this now right and um we'll come here and we we'll do inspect all right so we have to inspect because this inspect like i said returns a string representation of the object and if we lock this you might think okay nothing changed but not even with the syntax highlighting you see we just get you know it's all in you know white text that's because it's now a string and no longer an object to prove that if we do type of here and we run this we see that it's a string so this is one way to like, you know, in to send back objects when you like debugging and stuff. So for library maintainers or library authors, you definitely have used inspect. Okay. So the cool thing now is even though inspect by default returns a string representation of an object, you can customize it. Okay. So to do this, we can come here in this object and give it a new method. Um, using the spec dot custom right and by 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 default this takes in um a couple of options like depth and um inspect options and options and it's the inspect method itself but i don't use any of this we won't need them i just wanted to point that out so we could just ignore them but if you could actually use it to make this a little more much more flexible so you have so you could do a ton of things with it so when we define this now what we can do is let's say for example of course i don't want to return my name when um, you either console.log on this object right or use the inspect on it okay so what i can do i can say return and say um name this dot name okay so what happens now is if i come here let's let's um Let's do the console.log my object, just my object to see to show you that it works without you know using the inspect. Then if we do node inspect, um node inspect.js, we see the name it's actually Kelvin. Where's the age, right? So because we have customized what's going to send out as the as the output to anytime we console.log on the object, or even when we use inspect. And if we do this now, um let's say we, we do the one for the inspect, we could see we get this okay so it's going to um first of all the custom inspect method is going to run first you know to get the actual values you want to send back and then when you call inspect on it it just sends back like a string isn't that cool 
And what is even more cool is the implementation for the custom inspect can actually be a symbol. So you don't even have to use um, like to import anything from Node. This is very portable. That means in environments that is non-Node, like maybe like the browser, Node can ignore the symbol and everything will still work. So for the way to do this, to do, so let's go to uh, make a custom inspect symbol. And if you don't know what symbols are, I'm going to link in the description. So you could check that out on MDN. Um, so here I'm just going to do Node.js utils dot inspect dot custom. So this is the symbol, right? This is the symbol. And the reason why it's um, saying this is because I have um, TypeScript checking this file. So I probably should just ignore that. Um, so that's to take care of that warning. And if I come here now, all we have to do is say custom inspect symbol like so. And now you see, we don't need to import anything. Of course, we, we no longer need to use this. Like we don't need to inspect anymore. This would work as this. So if we run node inspect, we get this. So that's how you can customize like what's going to be output when anytime you log a an object. This is really good. You could even you know um, redact passwords if you will by using this. So that just like give you an idea. So for an actual use case in sales, for example, um, if I open the sales project, we have a a couple of these custom spec being made here. And you could see if you log sales.helpers, this is where we are actually setting like a custom inspect for it. And you could see we have a tree diagram going. I'm going to show you how this is, how this looks today, but it's really, really good. So instead of you logging helpers, because helpers are just functions that you can reuse in your sales project. So instead of you just logging them out, like as is, then you know, if you log out like a function, you get to see like FN and all the stuff. We want to give you like pretty logs. So, um, so let me sh let me show you how it is so let's say i have this project this sales text project and but i'm in the sales console and if i do sales.helpers you get to see this really really nice looking tree diagram of all your helpers available and this is because of the custom space so this is one reward use case of it and um yeah so that's it custom inspect in Node.js for your objects. So I hope you learned something from this video and you also see the reward application for it. Leave a comment if you've used it before and if, you, if you're going to use it and the use cases you want to use it for. By the way, do like this video and also um, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you like um, JavaScript and web development videos such as these. Also, YouTube is going to suggest a video for you to watch next. To watch it, it helps the channel a lot. Thank you so much.